Our theme tonight is forgiveness, reconciliation, return, reunion. So here are these stories from the Gospel of Luke. Which one of you, having heard a hundred sheep and losing one of them, does not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after that one that is lost until he finds it? And when he has found it, he lays it on his shoulders and rejoices. And when he comes home, he calls together his friends and neighbors, saying to them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep that was lost. Or what woman, having ten silver coins, if she loses one of them, does not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? And when she has found it, she calls together her friends and neighbors, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that I have lost. story continues to move beyond sheep and coins to people and to families. Then Jesus said, there was a man who had two sons. The younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the share of the property that will belong to me. So his father divided the property between them. A few days later, the young son gathered all he had and traveled to a distant country and there he squandered his property in dissolute living. When he had spent everything, a severe famine take place through that country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him to his fields to feed the pigs. He would gladly have filled himself with the pods that the pigs were eating, and no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired hands have bread enough and to spare, but here I am dying of hunger. I will get up, and I will go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and against you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired hands. So he set off and went to his father. But while he was still far off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He ran and put his arms around him and kissed him. Then the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his slaves, Quickly bring out a robe, the best one, and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet and get the fatted calf and kill it and let us eat and celebrate. For this son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to celebrate. Now his elder son was in the field and when he came and approached the house, he heard music and dancing. He called one of the slaves and asked what was going on. And they replied, your brother has come. And your father has killed the fatted calf because he has gotten him back safe and sound. But this brother became angry and refused to go in. His father came out and pleaded with him. But he answered his father, Listen, for all these years I have been working like a slave for you, and I have never disobeyed your command. Yet you have never given me even a young goat so that I might celebrate with my friends. But when this son of yours comes back, who has devoured your property with prostitutes, you kill a fatted calf for him. Then the father said, Son, you're always with me, and all that is mine is yours. But we had to celebrate and rejoice, because this brother of yours was dead and has come to life. He was lost and has been found. There's a wideness in God's mercy. There's a wideness in God's mercy, like the wideness of the sea. There's a kindness in God's justice, which is more than liberty. There is no place where earth's sorrows are more felt than up in heaven. There is no place where earth's failings have such kindly judgment given. For the love of God is broader than the measures of the mind, and the heart of the eternal is most wonderfully kind. If our love were but more faithful, we would gladly trust God's word and our lives reflect thanksgiving 
for the goodness of our Lord. Come to me, you weary, and I will give you rest. The blessed voice of Jesus, which comes to hearts oppressed. It tells of benediction, of pardon, grace, and peace. Of joy that has no ending, of love which does not cease. O oh, come to me, you wanderers, I will give you light. The loving voice of Jesus, which comes to cheer the night. Our hearts were filled with sadness, and we had lost our way. But morning brings us gladness, and songs for each new day. Embracing humankind. Dear God, embracing humankind, forgive our foolish ways. Reclothe us in our rightful mind. In pure lives your service find. In deeper reverence, praise. In simple trust, like theirs who heard beside the Syrian sea, the gracious calling of your word, let us like them, by spirit stirred, Rise up and followers be. Drop your still dews of quietness till all our strivings cease. Take from our souls the strain and stress and let our ordered lives confess the beauty of your peace.
forgive our sins as we forgive. Forgive our sins as we forgive. You taught us, Lord, to pray. But you alone can grant us grace to live these words we say. How can you pardon, reach, and bless the unforgiving heart that broods on wrongs and will not let old bitterness depart? Lord, cleanse the depths within our souls and bid resentment cease. Then bound to all in the bonds of love, our lives will spread your peace. Softly and tenderly. Softly and tenderly, Jesus is calling. Calling for you and for me. See at the portals, Christ waiting and watching. Watching for you and for me. Come home. Come home. Come home, all who are weary. Come home. Oh, for the wonderful love Jesus promised, promised for you and for me. Though we have sinned, Jesus offers us pardon, pardon for you and for me. Come home, come home. Come home, all who are weary, come home. sleep and darkness safely brought, restored to life and power and thought, 
New mercies each returning day hover around us while we pray. New perils past, new sins forgiven, new thoughts of God, new hopes of heaven.